So, fucking Skull Knight. <laughs> no. Dude. Skull what? Knight and Zod. Holy shit. It's so fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really good. Uh, we, we get some this little... Is, this is lore. weird because I definitely thought Skull Knight was with them. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. So this was actually a huge surprise. There's a lot of things I would say I could have assumed or called coming. Uh, this was not one of them. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Like like you thought he was like the one like maintaining the like guys. That's fucking great that you killed all these people, but like it's not time yet. Yeah, no, That's I thought like he was just like, enforcing the I thought he was Zod essentially cuz that was kind of Zod's thing, right? Yeah, like him and Zod were like the enforcers or whatever. Yeah, exactly. But like uh, it turns out he's been their foe for a millennium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go figure. Uh we got some interesting stuff from Zod here saying that he has nothing to do with like the feast and all this demon shit. What I seek are the strong. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Oh dude. man, I've heard that one before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we get kind of the, the mockery of void and like void would say that this too lies within causality's current <laughs> fucking put that to the test. Dude, the, we get like two, we get like so much eye candy, like immediately. Oh my god, it's crazy. Like Zod coming for Skull Knight, and Skull Knight's just on his horse with his sword and shield up. So we've seen this image before. This is the same image of Zod uh, attacking Guts and Griffith, because I used this as an episode picture. Yes. Yeah, so we've seen yeah. this exa- this pose at least. Um, it's just so fucking cool. Yeah, it's Zod is dope. too good. Zod is too good. He's so good. Uh, It's indistinguishable what's happening on the next page, though. (laughs) The next page is, yeah, they're all like gray shading. I mean, there's like a thing with, it's just impossible to fucking describe, dude. Like, you can't. It would take an hour just to fucking describe one of these demons. I mean, that's not true. The one on the bottom is just a snail. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) The alt text on this is demons eating people. <laughs> so <laughs> take that as you will. Um, and that's kind of what we get. Honestly, from like all the demons, basically, anytime we say there's a demon, just think that it is about to trying to or currently eating a person. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we skip to like Casca is just in shock watching people get like consumed yeah and pippin like Pippen, stepping up to like save her is so badass yeah. pippin's so cool boy i sure hope he doesn't die <laughs> <laughs> um we just i mean we judo like pops up on a horse to to take Costco away and i'm gonna we, i'm gonna talk about my thought process this year because i remember oh, yeah, i yeah. read this like two days ago or yeah no ago. it's fresh for you uh it's do super it. fresh yeah at this point I was like, Pippin's dead. He's going to die here. I think Judo is going to actually get through this somehow. I think Corcus is dead. And uh, I think Riker is stupidly going to see the aftermath by, like, showing up too late or something. This is kind of all the thought processes I had because I was kind of putting bets in my mind on what's happening with them. But definitely I thought Pippin's going to die in, like, a heroic manner probably here. And Judo is actually going to make it through here. Also, Casca is going to wish that she died. Um, I was pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much on. Dude, when I see things like people joking uh, it, regarding our discussion about you going to the Reddit, like I got a little bit spoiled almost because like oh. that new shit's coming out not like spoil spoil but like i don't want to see anything yeah and now that that shit's hitting like there's some posts and i'm like okay i guess i'm not going here for until i read shit yeah. um and that's like hella late but there was there was a thing a while back and someone's like my friend just started reading this and he was like man 
like I know bad shit happens to everybody, but like, or maybe he was at the point where like bad shit started happening, and he's like, just tell me like, how does Casca fare? And the dude is like, I mean, she comes Whoa. out great. She comes out great. If anything, she could have had it a little worse. <laughs> just like, oh no! Fucking Christ! Oh, oh no! Well, yeah. So the thing is, is that you don't think casca is going to die i never actually thought she was going to die uh, at this point yeah. by the way because i had theories of what was going to happen with the eclipse and honestly my theories were pretty true like the eclipse was going to be a giant thing where demon kind starts just murdering a bunch of people and this is kind of where griffith does the th- whatever he does to become a demon like it's pretty uh well telegraphed what's going to happen here i was really under the impression that judo is going to be okay. Casca is going to be okay. Uh, if not banged up a little bit, obviously guts is alive. I wouldn't call him okay. Uh, after everything <laughs> that happens here. Uh, but yeah. like I figured everybody else in the band of the Hawk is probably going to die. And like, I guess spoiler alerts, we just kind of get a bunch of panels of how they go out <laughs> from here on out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we see, we actually get like the fucking, so part of the uh, I might as well say it before we get into stuff yeah um part of the reason why I I said it right before we started recording this section was that like Berserk is just this is solidified Berserk is like my favorite piece of media of all time Uh uh-huh I've read this the eclipse I mean I've seen it the first time which hit hard because anime no expectations I then read the manga yeah, I read the manga however many weeks ago or a week ago or whatever when we or however many weeks ago kind of closer to when we were all when we were both like reading a lot and getting yeah. ahead mm-hmm. and then I read it again a week ago all three times it is hit just as strong for me in like sure. different slightly different ways like sure yeah i could see it that. gets me every fucking time and if anything it was worse like the second time reading through this like i could see that yeah okay and like there's you know there's plenty of other stuff where like i get attached to the characters or whatever but like seeing this just like literally almost brings me to tears like yeah. i just super connected with with this group yeah. And then, like, like even just looking at, like, Pippin screaming, like, he gets the line art and his eyes are fully open and shit, like, it's brutal. It yeah. fucking hits. Yeah. And then, um, like, him in the background, like, kind of going off against the demons, and then we get a few panels of, like, Casca and Judo, and then we get the demons, like, him fighting, and then all the demons are, like, closed in. And it's mm-hmm. over. Remind me fucking brutal at the end of this to I have a story about how I read this that is pretty important to how I kind of read through it as well. Remind me to talk about that because that's not as important as like the context of what's happening right now, but it's also important. Gotcha. Um, Yeah. So Pippin saves her, uh, saves Casca uh, and is fighting a demon and Judo kind of is still on horseback, grabs her and takes off with her or whatever um the thing i need to talk about is that it's so nice seeing corcus die (laughs) or at least start to die like you know what's about to happen but i hate corcus yeah (laughs) god i fucking hate him um yeah i mean his i mean he doesn't even get he goes out happy uh, so kinda. he's literally so he's getting like the whole he gets actually more of like a like a character moment i guess like thinking oh, right like here. oh this yeah. is all a dream like of course it was a dream like it was way too good to be true like clearly this was all a dream and this must also be a dream and then he sees the fucking naked woman yeah and he just goes to her i'm like yeah he might as well yeah um Dude. There is some actually cool stuff here because he's saying, like, am I, like, sleeping? This must be a dream or whatever, a bad dream. But then he's even saying, like, actually, 
all of the Band of the Hawk stuff. That was way too good to be true even back then. Like, maybe this literally has all been just a dream, and he just can't believe anything that's happening anymore. He sees the naked woman, like you said, and we get kind of the intro monster, essentially. I actually, yeah, you know yeah, it's similar. Is it the I don't, intro monster? <laughs> Let I me don't, look. Yeah, check. I don't think it is, but it, who knows? Like, is it the same hairstyle, the same look? I I don't have it ready to go on my computer, so I'm just going to quickly load up my tablet because it's beside me. But Oh, I can do a little. I can do a little quick check. I'm just um, curious. It is. Yeah, okay. It is, just straight up. Yeah, because why draw that same idea twice differently? Just, like, use the exact same. Yeah. I would, or whatever. Yeah. I would say okay. that is one to one. Uh, if I'm going to die from a demon, put my head between those giant floppy ass titties. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and then it's all okay. One final motorboat before you check out. Yeah. Um, and just like every single, like anytime we see people, it's again, just like demons in the background, like too many demons and too body many parts demons. now. There are so many body parts everywhere. Yeah. And just people being devoured and ripped apart or whatever. Uh, it's super cool, but obviously horrific if you're in this situation. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we kind of get a ju- weird chase sequence with Judo and Casca on the horse. Yeah. A bunch they're, of demons f- chasing them. Yeah. They're riding away. Judo's like saving, throwing like throwing knives. his knives, doing all that shit. Yeah. Um, Casca is saying like why like just stop like at least let's fight beside everybody and yeah. Judo's like struggle keep struggling and struggling until the end of ends and then struggle some more yeah this has become there is actually another line also that is said uh, I posted it on Twitter because things aren't going well uh in parts of the world recently uh especially like the states just had a big thing happen as of the time of the recording here where a lot of people have been not feeling too good or whatever and stuff like this these lines i think are super important the other one is take heed struggler struggle endure contend for that alone is a sword of one who defies death like that shit is so fucking good (laughs) <laughs> strugglers yeah. man i the, get it the idea of a struggler is like a rip that does that comes up often not often often but like yeah it's a thing yeah and i that i resonate with really oh hard. yeah and yes anyways this line here keeps struggling and struggling till the end of ends and then struggle some more that's just good words see it's a it's a thing like I can I mean I guess like fortunately I'm not I'm not fucking insane enough to think that it's not fortunate but like I I can't think of a time where I've been like actually struggling struggling like where this but I know like this stuff connects with people so hard and there's there you so many stories from people yeah, who yeah. like read this and just like truly connect with it for me I'm like I mean, I get the I get the flip side of it, where like, where everything's like, great, and I don't like, understand people that have problems because no, I'm no, so no. cool. No, no, no. I <laughs> okay. roll in. I roll yeah. in after yeah, yeah. like finding out that we we've run out of coffee, and then I roll in like, "What's up, fellow strugglers?" <laughs> oh like, man! So you're just like problems. making a mockery of it almost. <laughs> I mean, like, people, well, you know, people I just, joke I, about it anyway. But it's like, like, well, you know, I've been trying to not like put a fucking bullet in my head but yeah the coffee thing is pretty bad too i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but no like it's a it's a powerful thing it is yeah uh any media depicting stuff like people overcoming odds and maybe even not like going through like maybe not even winning in the end but like overcoming it that stuff is super important Again, remind me about what I was doing when I read this. It's super important for later. Um, Yeah, yeah. These demons that are attacking are fucked. (laughs) 
specifically the one that's like in the like ground with fucking teeth in its back or whatever that just bites the legs of the horse <laughs> yeah yeah fucking r.i.p these horses yeah um, poor horses they did nothing wrong we get we get like a weird i feel like it's just different than all the other demons we've seen the like thing with tentacles that just has like the spine legs it feels kind of cheaply drawn like a kid drew it well just because it's like all black yeah it's like yeah. a weird like it, it's not the same style it's so simple yeah it's and weird. just like all black but i guess that's the idea like it's just this black thing um yeah. and has like eyes and shit like a split head and whatever um yeah it's th- and, this one is impossible to actually like tell you yeah. what it looks like so yeah um and it's coming up, it has like these weird tentacle things like coming out of the halves of its head, like whips, like two very thin whip tentacles is how I'll describe them. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so it's like striking them at Judo and Casca and Judo steps in front to like take the hits and then like flips over on his back and basically is just getting like whipped. Yeah. And then we see like she's she's like stop it at this rate you'll you'll die and we actually get a fucking top tier panel of judo where she's like stop it at this rate you'll whatever and he's just like that's one of the only times we've seen him looking like angry determined oh yeah whatever this whole part he has kind of that determination look going on yeah so he manages to throw one last knife Casca like throw uh she like slashes the thing i'm gonna be real i don't understand what the like dive explosion panel is because there no explosion happens i guess it's just them like jumping or, or her jumping i guess but it looks yeah like, it looks like he yeah, exploded <laughs> yeah no it's just the i think it's just the action sequence thing like the action, white yeah. in the back yeah because she jumps for that's when she jumps for a sword which had fallen out of her hand or whatever and she yeah. slashes it um so he's like telling her to go and she's like what are you saying you just said we'd struggle until the end fucking on your feet <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so but then we get man the fucking sequence of judo like his his inner monologue and his eye like closing he's yeah. like i'm always trying to be a smooth talker but in the end, I missed my chance to say it, to tell you that important thing. But now these must be my last words. You sure do cry a lot, you know? <laughs> and Personally, I always just, thought I was a bit smoother than that, and he just falls dead. Yeah, um, his arm his arm is, like, eviscerated. His back is fucked. Like, I, I actually thought he wasn't going to die. I straight yeah. up. So this, this was a little bit of a shock to me. Like even the, so, I kind of thought he was dead until he does the attack, and Casca comes back and says, "Like, what are you saying?" Very end, blah blah blah, and starts carrying. I'm like, "Oh, okay, he actually is going to be part of this thing." And then like this page came up, and I was like, "Oh no, yeah, <laughs> yeah." Sure enough, he dies. So that's unfortunate because I really like Judo a lot. Dude, Judo is so fucking cool. Yeah, he is very good. Um, he gets a really distinguished good death too like the slow eye close and the final words and stuff saving casca uh who becomes at least i think will become extremely important to the story because of how this arc ends with her yeah um but yeah like it's very very good (laughs) yeah and then uh casca is just facing demons yeah, a bunch of As, demons come up, and she kind of does a guts move where <laughs> she's enraged and just attacks. But unfortunately, yeah. she is not guts and is quickly captured. And this is where I was like, "Oh, uh, yeah. oh no! Fucking oh, sacrifice no. a sacrifice, woman sacrifice. Eat now, before that." I'm just like, "Oh, yeah." And the bef- the one panel of like it's showing the inside of one of the monsters, and it's definitely dick tongue coming out of like. Cl- uh, and then her just or like whatever, thinking that she wants guts there. 
fucking br- and then the next page is like literally just tentacle rape quintessential like tentacles wrapped around her like ripping off her armor and shit monster claws yeah the whole nine yeah uh and then we get to like go to guts for a while which is fucking dope <laughs> yeah <laughs> so- it's him well so he just has his broken like knife blade he doesn't have his sword on him or anything right so he fucking takes he like manages to break off a demon's horn and he's just using that to fuck up everything in his path yeah this is definitely one of those things that's just like oh demons aren't shit though (laughs) yeah it's like like compared obviously to normal people sure but like yeah guts is definitely a super saiyan (laughs) yeah no he's like He's literally just stabbing the shit out of everything. Yeah, he's so mad. And I get it. I am also yeah. usually this mad, but I am not <laughs> able to do this. <laughs> uh, we get a great shot of what Griffith is going through. Like his kind of metamorphosis in the yeah. veiny sort of egg shape. Veins in an egg shape, like wrapping around him. And like he's... We see he has like kind of claw feet. The wings are forming. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of the image of like an embryo forming in yeah. in an egg, like a bird egg. Uh, it's fucking disgusting, and there's barely actual any human left in that form. Like, sure, there's legs and arms and stuff, but it's it's not looking like a person <laughs> anymore. Yeah. yeah, and then back to fucking guts. So many lines. There are so many lines here. Oh, <laughs> uh, but then it goes. Actually, I for, I forgot about this. Uh, despite just reading, we get that bit with uh, Griffith, like from his perspective, like what he's experiencing, and it's just like kind of darkness with like a bit of light. It's oh, just, like I'm in the sinking. midst of all this, yeah, yeah, farther from the light. Where's my body? I'm sinking. Um. Yeah, it's we kind of like a drawn do. representation of his humanity leaving, right? Yeah, and there's like, we see like all of the uh, Band of the Hawk crew, I mean the no names in this shot, like dying and yeah. reflected in his eye and just what is this? We get that fucking insane two panel spread yeah, where it's his eyes and then like where his helmet would kind of form into, like it's just all of the carnage. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's insane. Uh, him, the, like, falling on fire or whatever with, like, that yeah. shit in the flames. All of their deaths are piercing through me. And then the him fall like, the broken split panel effect thing. Like, I wished for it. I killed them. It's strange. I don't feel anything. I'm sinking. Um, yeah. We get stuff with, like, the... It almost looks like a little droplet, a little droplet of water. And it's like, the, what's this? The crystallization of your last tear shed. Um, when suffering so profound as to make someone rip himself apart is confronted, a heart is frozen. Some, and like Something's there is what Griffith is thinking. And it's just a bunch of Beharits, kind of. Like, yeah. If the spirit of a Beharit is what it looks like. Like these little Are they like faces. screaming? <laughs> Yeah, they're all just go- or like, I guess screaming or like. Well, the effects the are effects ah. Is, and the other one is own. So I was thinking more like a drone, like sort oh, of a meditation, yeah. like own. Like yeah. So sort instead of, of like ah, it's more like ah. Uh, yeah. Or something. Just, yeah, something like yeah. that. Okay, sure. Uh, there are splashes, droplets of ideas that have spilled from this sea to eternity, summons to the other world, and we get one of the first like insane panels to two page spread where he's just like god and it's that fucking insane demon thing whatever i don't it's impossible to describe have we seen this what do you mean no. that insane okay because i was like holy like, shit i'm just saying how, like the thing that we, we <laughs> what, what did i miss no 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 but like the that thing that's in this section um this is it's, the definition of uh, eldritch horror. It's yes. indescribable, uncomprehensible to human minds. Like, yeah, it's just 
and I mean, it's a perfect, it's a perfect way to go about it, right? Like it's, it's perfect. Not, yep. Even like when you have this indescribable demon thing or like not like eldritch god horror or whatever, and that's just Cthulhu. But it's yeah. like a, okay, it's an octopus wizard. Like that's fine. Like yeah. this is truly like a thing that doesn't. It, it just doesn't exist. There's nothing here I can point to and be like, oh, yeah, it's just a, and the fact that like we don't have any. It's not like there's like the the spirit of Griffith or anything here like establishing scale, but you just know that this thing is like beyond the the scale of comprehension. Like it's not big; it's just infinite. Yeah, and it's uh, just I, the way it's th- drawn is crazy. For what it's worth, Cthulhu isn't an old god or an eldritch god. Yeah, it, yeah, he's like it is an old one herald of the. Yeah, thing. for just for what it's worth, because that's kind of the whole idea is that in the Lovecraftian and just in cosmic horror in general, there's no f- way you can actually represent what the horrors look like. So, like anything that's been drawn or described in those wor- words are like close approximations on what the human mind can comprehend, and not yeah. exactly what. This is that, though, essentially. This is like, when you look at it, it's definitely way bigger and scarier than you are. Like, it's definitely more important in things and, like, anything than, like, you are as a human, for sure. Uh, But there's no actual way you could describe it other than, say, there's, like, maybe tubes on it. And even then, that's being a little bit generous. Like it's one of those things you actually have to see how it's depicted. And even then it doesn't make any sense. So yeah. Yeah. It's, it's extremely well done. It's fucking great, dude. Yeah. And the fact that they don't, I mean, well, as we see, like they don't dwell on it. Like it's not, we don't get, we don't get like fucking answers right now. We don't, we just have Griffith thinking God. Yeah. And that's it. And that's all that needs to be fucking said. It's just, then we get the real God. We get a bunch of just panel after panel after panel of guts, guts fucking just murdering shit. Flipping over demons, stabbing them through the heads repeatedly. Like I've never seen so many lines not at a DMV. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many lines. Um, we get uh, he does eventually, like, he's kind of going down another, like, tower of faces or whatever, kind of slashing to slow himself, and he falls. Yeah. The, the the thing, like, does it break? No, he's just, like, not, he hasn't caught himself properly or whatever. Or it comes out or something? I don't know. He, like, flips, he kind of botches the landing, and he's just, Yeah, I like, guess it's not in- sharp enough, so he doesn't get it in far enough, and it just kind of, like snaps yeah. out at some point or something yeah yeah so he's like sliding and then tumbles um into, into like water. blood where he just yeah uh, into blood yeah water blood yeah. water uh where he just sees like hands like a third of a face and he's just like screaming incomprehensibly yeah the way <sighs> man okay so def- obviously screams when you see like ah uh, exclamation mark you kind of get an idea this scream is like almost like a cry the way they like spell it out is like ooh whoa <laughs> wow wow yeah, yeah it's, but it's really hard to like i get the it, idea but <laughs> it it's the job done of like it's just not a sound that you can like his the amount of fucking anguish he's experiencing here is like beyond what you can put on a page yeah and then it kind of transitions to like the heavy breathing and him just being like nobody's here yeah he sees the corpses of uh the whole band really right like there's just corpses everywhere there's body pieces everywhere pieces pieces. and he's like i mean he calls out our (laughs) everybody we just watched die he's like judo pippin corcus and then he says Cass, and then uh Gaston Gaston shows up. He's like still alive. Oh, thank God. I knew nothing would happen to Gaston. He's obviously going to make it through this. He has such big dreams and a family waiting for him at home. There's no way they're going to. Oh, his head's gone. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> so okay um yeah i don't know his head he's, explodes he's kind of asking like where is everybody he's like i'm not really sure because <laughs> i don't know what the hell's going on here this has all been kind of fucked up but i guess all of this has really been fucked up ever he says yeah. even ever since zod something f- like has felt off about everything and that's like the the thing that the anime did super good for me watching it like completely fresh. Yeah. Um you get the you get the bit of black swordsman stuff kind of like trimmed trimmed way the hell down and then like sanitized a little. But giving you that and then going through like the golden age stuff, that's it. Like it's that's it's it's kind of like the futility that we've talked about with like Norse myth kind of thing, but then it's just like something is off. And the anime yeah. does that super well of being like, this doesn't feel correct. Yeah, I could somehow. see that. Yeah. I could see that being a thing for sure. Um Yeah, and we get kind of some of the it's like the you know what? It's like the inverse. Uh it's the foil to Corcus. Yeah, like, it is. He's just kind of drawn like, similarly too, even. Yeah. He's like, for a regular guy like me, those were the days they were too grand, too vivid. Like, yeah. after victory parties, everything seemed so sad. And, like, Griffith was just, he was too much. He was too much for guys like us. Yeah, like, out a of person a out of a story. Yeah. Yeah. And then, kaboom, his head explodes. Yeah. I don't don't necessarily Fucking. know what happened there. I guess he was impregnated with a head demon. Yeah, there's like, a demon that was, like, just in his head or whatever. Um, yeah. That's Mr. weird. Mr. Guts, I don't feel so good. <laughs> yeah, he actually does it. <laughs> oh, my God. He had a family and a tailor like, shop or dude, something. Him, him saying looks like I'm just a minor character. Yeah. That um, was actually when I knew that it's like, oh, it's happening here. <laughs> dude, Guts seeing fucking Pippin. And he's like, Pippin, you're alive. And then you see like... It's just like him, Pippin's body has been corpse has been like shelled out and is just being controlled by like tentacles. And then it, it just rips in half. And then we get an old friend actually from the Black Swordsman arc. We get the fucked up. Uh, yeah. The, the guy that we or whatever that we. Yeah. That like it looks that same way. But it's also I, I don't think we ever checked if it's the same. I didn't check anyway. But this is all. Either way, it's the it's the same thing that like ate the camp in front of Riker. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. and it, it potentially is the same as in the Black Swordsman arc. But I've not I've not checked on that. But it looks very close. Yeah, I don't know. I think they are the same because I have the feeling that he has kind of a hit list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Well, I wonder. So. You know, I could. I could check if you want to take us through the next stuff. I can look quick. Yeah, I mean, it's just horror shit now, which is super my thing. So, yeah, we get kind of the weird... I thought it would actually go further. Like, so there's the shell of Pippin just standing there or whatever, and the tentacles on it. I kind of thought it would be like an anglerfish sort of thing, but it just kind of, like, rips Pippin's body in half right away. Like, we... the facade is kind of given up pretty quick and he attacks pretty quick i guess as well and we get the cool like spread of just a bunch of demons looking at him like he's dinner or whatever yeah uh and man there's just so much demon shit here so there's like the one mouth with just a bunch of heads in it there's corcus's head in the boob lady demon thing that he kills at the beginning or whatever there's a demon with just like different body parts of somebody on their fingers each finger uh there's so, another one that looks like he's taking a family picture with a bunch of corpses or something he just has his arms around like four dudes and it looks like they're standing there saying cheese <laughs> yeah uh i checked it is the same design uh-huh uh but we don't i i read something a while back um okay. that's that said like the black swordsman stuff in the beginning isn't necessarily like 
not that it's not canon, but like it's different because he he drew that and then he had the idea for like all the golden age stuff and then he was working from that. Uh huh. So like there might be overlap that's not necessarily one to one, but like yeah, it's the same exact demon. Right. So yeah, you can just we can just say it's the fucking duke. So we got so after all that, this is all just pretty standard Mira style, but then it goes into the stuff I really like. So page 99, it's kind of like where he starts going, I guess, even more Super Saiyan. He's like actually getting mad now. He's going berserk. Uh, I've gone berserk at gmail.com. But like (laughs) all the demons are now just like line drawings that are really squiggly uh, and he's like clenching his teeth and then they're even more squiggly showing like bug like antennas and uh legs and stuff with like the skulls pierced through them uh and they're all laughing yeah like, and then the classic just image of him like actually just losing his mind so many lines no no irises at all just pupils uh screaming bastards yeah like zero definition just fucking long yeah. lines so many long lines and then you think oh my god it's on but then it stops for a second because the next thing we see is he fucking. notices casca hanging upside down from a bunch of spiky and tentacles holding her up in the air naked yeah and then he goes fucking crazy again Dude, yeah. all and like then it shows like we get a big spread of him like going super line and then yeah. uh rushing towards them. Like every single one of those demons is like phallic as shit. But yeah, like all of them. it looks like some of the demons from uh like Persona and Totally. Yep. Like Shin Megami Tensei. That must be inspired by this. There's yeah. no way you can convince me otherwise. Some of these. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. one demon is just a big dick. <laughs> big with dick tentacles. With little dicks on it. Yeah. yeah. That, oh, yeah. That, that one. You're There's right. like three big dick demons that are just They're, literal. They are a dick. They are dick demons. Yeah. There is a weird sexy woman one with a giant dick. Uh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's that. And then we get the most lines I've ever seen in my life <laughs> in every panel. So I love this, though, because... Yeah, those lines indicate a ferocity <laughs> that just feels really good to watch him just like cut through all of them. <laughs> Dude, and the bits were like getting just all the lines, and then there's like Guts's white eyes, just no pupils, just pure white with like his hair and like Screaming. blood coming from his eyes. Like yeah. holy shit! Yeah, and just like demons, like literally, like eyes here fucking jaws there like just getting cut apart yeah um and it all kind of comes to a head there's like this demon that's like kind of a dick but then has like a (laughs) yeah weird they're all kind of a thing but yes it's another one of those (laughs) like a demon that's face is kind of like a weird triangle pyramid but elongated into like the bow of a ship kind of shape with a spike at the end of it, I guess. Sure. Um, going towards Casca. Um, and as Guts is like going, a demon chomps him on the arm, preventing him from, from moving. And then it all stops. It stops fucking cold. We just get like a heartbeat. Yeah. Um, and we go back to the hand, the god hand, and the metamorphosis is complete. Yeah, we get this Quickening. the awesome image of the like almost like a cracked eggshell, but it's his wing or whatever of the new demon with like blood yeah. coming off of it upwards. Dude, it's yeah, it's fucking cool. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. The birth uh, of the fifth blessed king, the new demon king. And then we get their name. So we got Void. It is Slan for the woman. Ubik. Ubik is like the Ubik. the little guy with glasses, it looks like. And then Conrad is like the fat dude out of the ground. Poor Fucking Conrad's Conrad. everywhere, man. <laughs> Void. Slan. Ubik. Conrad. <laughs> Conrad. 
thou art our extension, our new kinsman to wear the mantle of evil, the wings of darkness, Femto. Right. So I remembered when we were talking originally with like Griffith or Femto or whatever the fuck this thing was. And I kept referring to it as Griffith. Like, I'm, I don't think I was wrong too because it's the same person essentially seeing like the build up to this moment. It really is. I really like feel like there's a distinction though. Griffith actually it's, doesn't exist anymore. It's a, uh, it's like an Anakin Darth Vader situation for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With maybe less Griffith than Anakin <laughs> at this yeah, point. Totally. Yeah. Uh, th- just some cool scenes of like him standing up and kind of like stretching out or whatever. Uh, also just flying down from the hand or whatever with the, the uh, clips in the background are just kind of a silhouette that actually that whole page, the two page spread is fucking phenomenal. 120 and 121. Yeah. Uh, with guts being held and then like he steps down. Yeah. 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 That whole page, yeah. those whole two pages are phenomenal. They're so They're good. F- they're fucking incredible dude actually all of this is really good <laughs> it's yeah uh and then it gets horrifying <laughs> okay so we get some we get shots of him like coming down uh he's like facing guts and then we got at his bidding legs. apparently yeah, yeah like uh a demon lowers casca down to griffith who immediately starts like grabbing her yeah and in the way you think (laughs) in the way you think yeah and like guts start dude his fucking arm like he's like pulling at his arm like and the the sound effect is just shrip ripping his skin and stuff yeah yeah and his arm is just like fucking grind 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 whatever um he's watching like literally right yeah yeah dude it's fucking hard um this is hold on. <laughs> One, two. Uh it's a lot of pages. It's about twenty, no, it's closer to thirty pages of terrible shit from here on. Yeah. Um so buckle in, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh and Casca doesn't kind of she doesn't really see anything. I mean, like she's in a fucking hell of a state, but she does finally see that like it could be Griffith or it looks like Griffith. And as he Griffith like puts his lips on hers and that's what causes guts to like, he's picked up a sword and yeah. he starts like clanging at the demons and stuff. And then decide uh, until clangs at that until like his sword breaks and then just, starts fucking digging into his own arm yeah um, uh this is I, I don't necessarily want to talk about every scene that's happening yeah here. yeah i mean i'm, th- I'm i was gonna talk more about like guts <laughs> yeah it's important <laughs> like what's going to, on with him it's important to note that femto griffith is just fucking the shit out he's, of Casca right is, now. He is, he is now like fully raping Casca. Full, 100%. The way it's drawn is really weird and we can talk about that after because yeah, we should focus on Guts right now. The Guts is like <clears throat> cutting off his arm is insane in the way that like you would think it would be with just so many lines. It's like a rage filled cutting of his arm and with a broken so much, sword. And there's so much blood in Viscera. There's like the snapping Dude, sound effect when happening. It, when his arm finally pulls away and like Mira has drawn every fucking tendon and bone fragment that would be in an arm. Yeah. Like. It's, it's really fucked up. But then it visceral. ends with him just screaming Griffith holding yeah. the broken sword. That image is insane. Every muscle yeah. is drawn with a thousand lines, I swear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and look at the fucking, his arm, you can see, like, where the bones are. 
Like yeah. just it's spurting just, out blood. Yeah. Yeah. Um Oh god, I forgot there's more like of the crunching and stuff of his yeah, butt. Like, it's so gross. Crunching and pulling. Uh <laughs> he so he as he he's broken free and he's running at uh at Femto. <clears throat> and a yeah. demon like holds him down like jumps on him and is like turned his head like forcing him to watch basically a bunch of them actually like four of them are because he's oh yeah 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 he's strong so it so it like we just see like the hands or paws or whatever coming down but then yeah we see there's like it looks like three of well at least three big demons i don't know whose hands are whose like a fourth one is in there somewhere yeah um and femto continues to do his fucking heinous shit we get like the we get shan or slan saying like such beauty it touches me love love hatred pain pleasure life death like this is what this is to be human this is to be evil uh yeah terrible yeah this Um, is fucking insane uh the way this ends is terrible but yes go on (laughs) Yeah, I mean, fem- we get too many fucking panels of Femto doing his shit, and like, sh- yeah, uh, we'll cir- we'll circle back to it a tiny bit, but yeah, I don't want to go into super details either. Uh, um, you know what? We're gonna get past this. I just want to bring it up right now. It's weird. Like, obviously, there's something more important here happening than the rape itself, because the way this is drawn isn't just a brutal sexual deviancy. There's like weird light rays and stuff like there's definitely some sort of demon bonding type shit going on here as well. Yeah. Some of the like Um, there's glowing where there shouldn't be glowing in some panels. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) yeah um and there's like weird emphasis placed on stuff we'll get back to it a little bit are there like cum ropes is that what some of this shit is i can't tell uh yeah we don't really like fully know i think we can assume yes because well okay go do you can you see pages did you ever get that figured out no i I looked it up and apparently the inverse happened a while ago i don't know like people are uh, it's a windows update thing from what i've seen so i there's nothing to be done really go can you go back to the page where guts is still cutting off his hand and -hmm. there's like the top view of casca uh looking the one where he like finally gets through before he screams griffith there's like yeah. there's a panel there that's literally just black with like gooey ness um is that what that's supposed to be i can't tell what the fuck that's even supposed to mean or symbolize or what that is so i was taking that as like i don't even fucking know also okay honestly like okay yeah yeah saliva fucking juices I thought it was a representation of him coming inside her because the next panel of her is the white, weird, like glowing happening. Yeah, I think that's just like. I mean, I'll say it like I think that's just supposed to be him being like going balls deep because before that, like we're not getting like a shot like that. So I think that's just like we get some leading panels leading up to that on the bottom of. The page yeah. before that weird rope thing, we get like some light stuff happening. Yeah. So I think like that is supposed to be him like fully entering her. Oh, like, I you see, see the light. Mean. The light kind of goes like up to her chin, and then it almost looks like it's like cutting through her forehead, like yeah, sort of that yeah, yeah. effect, right? Um, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, it's um. It's super weird because, like, the next time they kind of show what's happening there, that light isn't there. Uh, yeah. And it comes back again. But it's also the, with weird ropes. <laughs> I think the, ne- the next time we see it, I think it is him, like, fucking ejaculating. Yeah. 
and then just like continues going or whatever. I mean, that's the take I, I have. It's there's super like, hard to tell. Yeah, there's a few times that it seems like it could be. Um. Yeah, we get like. Well, I mean, well, let's finish what actually happens for this uh -huh. bit or whatever, and then can come back because there's like some stuff that I want to yeah, talk yeah. about. Uh -huh. Um, so guts is being held, and Casca manages to like get out. Don't look. Oh, and yeah. I actually, I knew this was a thing, and then I think I forgot it was a thing when I went through it again, and then like going through it the third time, like just recently, I caught it that like she says, "Don't look," and like there's that claw in front of his eye, like the the his right eye that's like this is how primarily... he loses his eye, yeah, yeah, but. I forgot that like he does it himself. Like the, as the demon is holding his head down, there's like the claw right in front of his eye, and he just I think I I read it as him moving forward to to blind himself, and then we see like the blood coming down the panels, and like out of that eye, that's like the last thing he can see is like Casca like broken, basically. Maybe with... it's hard to tell, but okay, I I because can see of... that read, yeah. Because of the lack, my my thinking is like there's a lack of like action, right? Yeah. We just see like the claw in front of his eye. She says, "Don't look," and then we just see it in his eye, like kind of calmly. Uh huh. Like his eye is wide open, and there's just a claw in it, and then like blood is going down. Like his vision is in that eye is fading out. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's uh, so that's like, I mean, do you want to when do you want to circle back? To, <laughs> do you want to just get it out of the way or like get to the we should get out of the way? Because as soon as this part's done, we kind of like get out forever. of we get out of hell. Thank God. Um, yeah, let's just get this whole I, scene over with. I do you think, because I've seen people say this, I understand where they're coming from. Do you think this is drawn to be sexy? Do you think it is drawn as like the fucking anime assault hot scene? Like, it is definitely not completely drawn to be completely not. Yeah, okay. Um, there's this horrible thing that happens to rape victims where their body physiologically at some point can accept what's happening and they start to enjoy it. This is definitely a thing that's happening in this scene. Well, yeah, no. And that's like, it's terrible. It's absolutely I, fucking hor horrendous. Yeah, no, it I it, don't get me wrong. Like this I mean it's fucking hard to read. It's hard to yeah, like talk about, but like <laughs> everything I don't, about this is hard I, if you know what I mean. Oh shit, you're talking about Femto. Yeah. Um <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> Thank you for I, taking I, getting us out of that joke. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh yeah, like I mean there's people I've I've seen who are like why is this drawn like why is she enjoying it? I'm like, dude, I don't think she exists in this moment. Like, uh, I mean, as we, we kind of know what happens, uh, yeah, with her. No, going I think forward, she doesn't like, I don't think she exists here. Like, like, I think her mind is broken. So, so the thing that you have to keep in mind and like, it, it's so fucking hard. Cause like, this is, this is like too real, right? This is yeah, like it is. far and away past over the line of like being too real yeah but it's also a demon it's literally a demon god um uh -huh. which i like hate to put in with this because it feels like you're trivializing trivializing it well it sounds like but you're like, excusing it or something oh but yeah i get but what like, you mean yeah it's a fucking demon also like she it, it's not only this act but like she just watched all of her comrades and close friends get torn apart by actual demons. Yeah. Um, 
which isn't excusing this shit, but like on on top of this, like there's just uh, there's nothing, you know. So yeah. like completely shutting down, and like you said, like the body just. Uh, I mean, it goes both. It does both ways, right? Like I seeing it before or encountering it, like some form of like physiological arousal is not fucking consent, right? Like, oh, dude, I, no. I, Look, she I, literally I, says no multiple times. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's um, horrible. And, and yeah, like we see, I mean, we see signs that like her body is responding, but like, there's nothing I would say that enjoyment proves more that there isn't if, sexiness if, here. The way she slumps over after, nothing dude, about this the, was okay. And that she's like crying the whole time. And like saying, like, it's if if you read this and you think like, wow, why was that so sexy? Like, yeah, you have a problem. Get checked. Yeah, yeah for fucking sure. you need to reevaluate things like for majorly. Sure. Yeah. I do think there is a little bit more gaze than necessary. Uh, also true. Like yeah. that, they, they these things are both true. They spend too much time on it. Um, they do. And that was actually one of the things I wanted to mention because one of the one of the things that inspired uh, Mira uh-huh. says Wiki is that I constantly forget the name because uh, I don't I forget the English translation, but it's the boarding school thing with the two boys, and that was written like for women, and then like has this sort of additional thing that like people who know more about the subject than I do. Have yeah. said about like the idea of like two men, se- like a man sexually assaulting another man in the context of that story was like a thing that allows women to experience the to like take in this thing without putting themselves in the role of it. And like just how they it was a really good thing. I like I'm not going to try to get into it because like I'm the opposite of qualified for it, but it seems like there was some of this inspiration taken from a thing that like uses assault and rape as a tool in a very specific way. Uh huh. And he like translated that to a place where it, it doesn't work the same way. And it, it doesn't, not that they're like in that, in that story, they also, it's not like they were like spending 30 pages on a thing, but like in place of like showing body parts over the course of 30 pages, you have like, what is it? The show, 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 shonen eye, shoujo, like the flowery stuff, right? Oh yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. Like almost making it look romantic, or like this weird, beautiful thing. And like clearly, he lifted that kind of idea and put it in a weird way. It seems like, um, sure. And it doesn't work. <laughs> like I don't like it. Obviously, like it, it's too gazy. It's too. Cause like it doesn't okay. work in this context, man. So on in this chapter or whatever, go to like where what's her name is crying, saying love, hatred, pain, pleasure. They're all there. Blah blah blah. This is to be evil. That page, right? Yeah. Yep. Now go to the next page. Mm-hmm. Let's pretend that isn't there. This page. Mm-hmm. Go to the next page. Pretend that isn't there. Mm-hmm. Go to the next page. Pretend that isn't there. Mm-hmm. Now. Let this page, the next page, that's there. The next page isn't. Let's just get rid of that one. Get rid of the page after that one. And then, like, then the next page is there. You have the exact same thing without six pages of showing a victim get raped. Yeah. And you have the exact yeah. same thing happening. You have the exact... Okay. Actually... No, never mind. That's on one of the pages I said you should keep. You miss nothing. Actually, I'm looking through them again. You miss absolutely no subcontext of Griffith's eyes looking at what's his face. You have no subcontext of Guts being upset. You're missing absolutely nothing, and you just cut out five pages of the worst thing. Yeah. It's like... So this is one of the things, like, going through this... um, I mean the the 
the anime sanitizes this shit. It's still there, but like <laughs> we're not yeah. getting. Uh, sure. It doesn't turn into a fucking gross I, ass hentai in the last well, in the back half. Well, I found um, something gross, but we can talk about that after if you remind me. So go on. Okay, <laughs> so I need to remind you about gross thing and like the way you read this. No, um, whatever. I'll. Yeah, we'll yeah, talk yeah. about it now. I just looked something up because uh, I wanted. I googled to see if there was any interpretations of what's going on with the ropes, essentially here, <laughs> the cum oh, no. ropes. Uh, I couldn't find anything. What I did find was a bunch of things saying, like recut of this scene without guts to make it sexy hentai, and I was like, that you missed the whole point. Oh no! I I hate the internet. Literally so the much. opposite. Literally yeah. the opposite. Fucking. T- take and it was like some site called like tna vids.net or something like it's not that Great. but it's something close to it it's like yeah i guess i guess what else do you expect from a site like that but jesus christ that is so not what this is all about yeah yeah um, no, there's nothing sexy about this and if you think there is i like deeply implore you to talk to somebody because yeah. there might be like actual trauma there from your childhood that you don't understand or realize like it's there's also the like you might also just be like young <laughs> i guess yeah i guess like Edgy. not cuz i was going to say the first when i i mean it, it it's slightly different actually uh when i read this the first time i all like i kind of not that i skipped over this but like it didn't really phase me that much because I was like, here's the tool we have for our, like, to motivate our revenge. And that's what right. I'm here for. Guts is going to fight shit. And that's what I want. And it's horrifying. Yeah. Like, seeing it, it's soul wrenching. But, like, reading it for the second time, our many weeks ago, like, physically ill, like, actually uh-huh. feeling sick. It's because it's, there's too much gaze. There's too just too, too much, much there. Yeah. It's way too much. And it just makes you feel like... I mean, maybe that's the fucking intention to, like, make you feel sick for looking at this. But, like, I could do without yeah. that. <laughs> I could do without that entirely. Um, I, It's very rough. Yeah. I think it feels a little lazy too. Like I don't know. I it seems like almost filler at some point too, where it's just like I didn't or like you wanted to draw this like self gratifying in some way. Like why would you why else would somebody want to draw this many pages of somebody yeah. be, like I and the thing is, is that I'm not even necessarily against the use of rape as a mechanic to drive something forward for characters and story. As terrible as that is to say, I'm not. Like, that is a thing that happens to people. It's horrible. And, like, the way they fight past it and the way they deal with it is kind of what determines somebody's character and all that sort of stuff. It's just the fact that between, like, maybe five panels of Guts, like, being shown it, and like kind of a weird subcontext of Griffith like or Femto looking at him through the eyes and then doing it to him. There's just page after page of like her pussy getting wrecked. Like we don't like, yeah, I know yeah. what is happening. You don't have to show me that much. Yeah. In it's- fact, arguably the only thing you really need here is you need any one of these scenes with like Femto and Griff uh and guts kind of like looking at each other or like just kind of i don't know in that like moment with each other like guts's tears or whatever with his eye uh like all that sort of stuff you definitely need the like blood dripping down kind of the last scene he ever sees out of that eye is like her so her or whatever and then like her slumping down you everything in between is kind of unnecessary you would yeah i was gonna say like you 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 would have to figure out like how to show guts's eye getting like yeah destroyed but like show all that you could That's literally fine. you could literally show femto having casca's body like lowered down by him and then skip to like 
the very last panel that we get where she's like slumped over. You could, yeah. Like, like I'm just saying, like anything. Th- that's the amount of stuff that's unnecessary. Like, look at all the other times we've gotten something like this, right? Yeah. Like, and how it's been handled, and then here it's just like in like so a panel or much. two at most. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just a fucking lot, especially because a lot of these panels, like that. The, actually, a good way, good rule of thumb, in my opinion, to even look at both is go through these pages. Take out every page that doesn't have guts or femto in any way other than an arm. There's so many of just Casca naked uh, with like yeah. being grabbed by like a hand. Get rid of all of those panels and because those are there only for the gratuity. They don't even show the fucking demon. They just show his hands. They're only yeah. there so that you can watch somebody get raped. And that's I don't know. I, I don't like it. Like, I just don't like it. I don't mind the situation for the story and what happens here. I don't like the way it's portrayed. I just don't. Yeah. Yeah. No, Wh- totally. Whether or not it's intentional. Like. Yeah. Uh, uh, Skull Knight shows up. In the coolest <laughs> way. There's just like a cr- the eclipse cracks. It's so good. Yeah, and he shatters through the black. Uh, it, I mean, it's like it's a window or something. Because, like, the sun is in the background. He, like, there's black shards all around him. Yeah. He atta- uh, goes for an attack on Void, who just puts up a void. Go figure. <laughs> like a black like, hole. Yeah, and, like, a secondary one that shoots the, like, so teleports the sword back out. Portal. Like portal. you're thinking yeah. of portals. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He's literally thinking of a portal over his brain. Yeah. Uh, there's an awesome image of like right after this of just Skull Knight and Void looking at each other. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're it's we're back to the cool shit. Yeah. Um, he just rides just get, his horse down the arm. Oh, dude, God. seeing so him riding down and then on the next page like his sword isn't even like moving and all the demons are just cut the fuck up like cleanly yeah it's so cool yeah it's very very good like his level of power um we see some of femto's shit it's kind of hard to suss out uh he like reaches out his hand and like clenches it he definitely and does then, some like, force shit or something. Yeah, and there's like yeah. an explosion of demons. Like they just kind of implode or whatever. Yeah, or I'm trying to get. Uh, you know what? I think I got it. Um, He's trying. He like. So there's all these demons and there's like a group of like a ball of them. Yeah. And then Skull Knight is on is like in front of them. Yeah. I figured out what happened. He okay. basically was using the demons as like materials that he yeah, was trying to, to him. encase, encase or yep. crush Skull Knight in. Yeah. Because like now I'm looking around it, you can see like the demons are all like there's a circle that is cut out of this wall of demons that yeah. he is like rip them apart. Okay. I got it. That's cool as shit. Dude, yeah, that's super cool. I didn't even, you know what? I know I <laughs> read this three times. I still fucking missed it. Like, the panel, the ball of demon shit is like shrinking. Yeah. And it's like the blood is like, it's like drawing blood from a stone or whatever. It's like pouring out. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. he just looks at his hand like, oh shit. <laughs> just like realizing how much power he has, I guess, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we see Skull Knight going away on his horse and he has Guts and Casca like Slumped over the over. back yeah. yeah uh femto reaches out and then we get a shot of guts like leaning over the horse and a shot of femto with his hand out and then the horse like riding into the sun and fading and him just, femto just kind of looking at his hand with like the dot dot dots um i think the I think the the general consensus is that he decided he sees guts and decides not to like try to crush him or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I follow that 
I don't know that I don't follow it, but like it also yeah. seems like maybe it just didn't work. I honestly thought it fizzled out or something because he doesn't know how to control it, it. But yeah, my thing was that it like fizzled because like I don't know. I can see it either way. I can he see it both clench, ways entirely. Though. He just keeps his hand out, so I could see him yeah. not even trying. Yeah, and then he's like looking at his hand, like because he doesn't fucking talk here. And still, like we don't know if he's thinking like why didn't it work or why did I just not do that or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then we get the shit from the demons about like wow, how unforeseen, unpredictable thing happens, but it's tiny. As well, it's impossible to anticipate everything. Yeah, we are not gods ourselves after all, or whatever. Yeah. And then fucking. Or this too was fated to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time has begun again, begun to flow or the fifth angel has been born. Yeah. So like, and then just your general shit about the age of darkness. Yeah. I suppose that's what people will call it. The age of darkness. So the golden age was everything up until the demons attacked, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which makes sense get, I suppose we discover that Skull Knight like fucked up Zod like cut off his arm not that it matters because he just reattaches it but like man we get one shot because Riker is still there who's been watching and mm-hmm. he's like to think someone could match no he even fought better than Zod and we get like one little panel of Riker like imagining the battle like just Skull Knight coming at Zod yeah I'm kind of glad we don't see the battle because it's so fucking cool in my mind. (laughs) Totally. It's imagination is the best thing for that stuff. Yeah. Like you just know it was this fucking insane battle. Oh, yeah. And Um, then out of nowhere, after like a lightning crash or something. Yeah, there's a crack of lightning out of the cyclone and suddenly Skull Knight is there and Riker's like, what the fuck? Gus Casca? Yeah, he just so throws is, the bodies at Riker. <laughs> so this is very, very cool. This is kind of where it all comes into play. It's like, oh, OK, he was supposed to go with that traveling troop with um, Puck because we read the Black Swordsman or Dark Swordsman or Black Swordsman or whatever. And we know that Puck has healing medicines, which he has, which Riker has now. OK, it's making sense. It's making sense how this is all coming along. But yeah, I love that Skull Knight's like heal them yeah dude it's so good yeah uh and then zod just shows up and you see how much bigger he's so much bigger than skull knight he's so Um, big and riker's just like crying internally it's like where where i love Um, this scene too where just like there's a the fight's about to happen or whatever and skull knight's like Yo, we should like delay this for right now. And then Zod's like, "What are you talking? Oh, that guy, that ah. guy, he survived from yeah. the eclipse." And then he's lo- just laughing. I love this. The like, ah, interesting. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like you just perfectly imagine the the delivery. It's so good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So he. We find Fox out off. nobody is left except for Casca and Guts and uh, Skull Knight takes them away because the gate is essentially opened and the whole land is going to be overrun with demons any time now. So they got to yeah. get they got to get out of here. Man, that ending, the ending shot with uh, Zod like kind of fading into the distance, I guess, like walking off or standing or whatever the hell. Show me now how it is you'll struggle is no more than a man through the world of darkness and the wilderness of the dead that extends before you, branded swordsman. Yeah. God, it's so good. Oh, my God. Um, The next chapter, intro's, like, image is so hard to look at <laughs> Dude, after everything. It's difficult. But also, look at that water, huh? Yeah. There's water. Yeah, it's uh, fucking rough. Uh, Guts has a nightmare where he's trying to talk to the band of the Hawk that are all kind of marching off into the distance somewhere, but they're not paying yeah. attention to him. We see like Judo, Corcus, and Pippin, but like their faces are 
just shaded enough so there's like not detail it's very well done yeah to like yeah. show like that kind of weird dream like lack of like detail. you can tell who they are but that you can't see their face sort of thing yeah yeah and guts just saying don't go and fuck wakes up in a cave uh to surprise surprise the little girl from before that he trained with or trained at their house or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah. Dude, her coming in and be like, Guts, you're awake. And then she immediately fucking eats shit. Like, she just trips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's some good shit. Uh, his, look at his fucking face. In the panel where she's dashing towards him. And he's, like, looking. And then he, she trips and his face is just like, Ugh. Oh, I haven't even noticed that. <laughs> yeah, that's so pretty good. good. That's pretty good. And she's crying. Uh, yeah, so he wakes up. Riker comes in as well. Uh, basically just tells Guts that you're in Daddy's Orc Cave, she says. The Orc Cave yeah. where he mines his <laughs> ore or whatever. Uh, yeah. The Skull Knight brought them here. He asks what happened in that whirlwind, which kind of gets him up and says, like, where the hell is Casca? And then we get this, like, the image of her under the shower. This is, like, a really sad image too it reminds me of those like have you ever seen when they depict somebody like specifically women after something like that and they're just like crying in the shower or something that is totally yeah. this <laughs> yeah scene uh but this is worse because he goes to say like hi to her or whatever and she just screams and turns away and is scared of him uh, apparently she doesn't remember anything we find out and the only one she feels safe around is uh the little girl whose name is probably somewhere and i should remember erica erica yeah uh which makes sense because you know young girl like not a threat at all yeah um um she says nothing though she i guess she, is it that she can't even talk or she just doesn't want to. I guess we don't know. I guess I don't know yet. Um. Yeah. No. She. She like can't really talk at all. At, yeah. Her mind like, has been completely broken. Basically. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, I, I'll I'll just say we get to the point where like she can a little bit, but like we're just so near the event right now. But uh -huh. like for now, yeah, she's just like pure. Yeah. Reversion. Yeah. Um, this you must love this like next scene. So guts leaves or whatever. Um, and we get this like you shouldn't go outside. He said not to or whatever. Uh, the image of the like squirrels and shit. You love this, don't you? You love these. Why wow, it's good? It's good shit. Like birds and leaves. This uh, when I was reading this, I was just like, oh great, fucking National it Geographic going on here. <laughs> It is an inter I mean, it's something we haven't really seen, like that level of nature, just pure nature, like birds and everything. Also, Mira doing almost like, I don't know, like real overly, life studies. Yeah, 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 like overly detailed, but it's like a, a little animal. Yeah. And it's like a good representation. Anyways, yeah, but Guts is Guts mm -hmm. is running. Uh, he leaves the cave, and this chapter is actually called the Sprint. Um, he oh. literally fucking runs full bore. Well, think we get a lot of flashbacks. Uh, him talking to Judo about his place. Uh, just like Corcus arguing with Riker, um, Pippin like lifting him. Just all these images. As he runs full fucking tilt back to the like the meadow where this all yeah. happened. And like him being there and it's dark. And just like he's down on his arm. He's, his arm has been bandaged. He has now kind of as we knew him as the black swordsman, like one arm, one eye. Yeah. Um, and he's just looking down at like in defeat. It's fucking hard. Yeah, there's nothing really to say here that is this is very much a like you had to have been reading and been here to know what like what this moment is. And like you said, yeah, he's just running full tilt through the forest and memories of like his previous life essentially happening in his mind, all, all kind of 
culminating and coming to an end with like Griffith leading their first Man, just, big war or whatever. Yeah. I just noticed that on like the page after we see Griffith in his mind, like he's crying, but his one eye, I guess, like hasn't healed yet or whatever, because he's so like that blood. eye is crying blood. Yeah, it's just like pouring out or whatever. Yeah. Um it's Yeah, so up. he's like he's laying in the field and it starts to rain and then like fucking murmuring starts happening. Uh eyes appear. Like I are their mine, liver mine. Yeah. Um and then Skull Knight shows up and kind of gives us the uh exposition that we need. Uh kind of I mean it makes sense. Like I think people probably did you guess? Like did you figure this is what was going on? Or was the idea that he's between worlds like was that not a call? That you made? Uh well no, I figured that the world has just become overrun with demons not necessarily that there is like between a uh, between them that yeah that he kind of exists in yeah. yeah but like not that he's not that he's not part of the real world but like just the idea that like demons are coming for him now like you said with dark souls like where they the idea of like the hollow and being yeah drawn to the life and shit. that's kind of just everything in that though this is primarily the sacrificed right the branded yes people yeah. is what uh, so he's like them. a blinding light for them in a world of darkness that they're attracted to yeah um to fend them off skull knight gives him the sword and guts catches it and his hand is bleeding because it's covered in thorns <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh we get so this is kind of new actually this is worth talking about we get weird like ghost apparition things that he's attacking and the way they're yeah. kind of done is super cool the like the white negative space on the black night sky and stuff i really yeah. just like how that's done i think it's cool it, it looks super cool yeah and he says like what is this it's like cutting through water i like that's a very cool way to describe it because like there's plenty of things where you, like you know you play a game and you like hit a spirit with a sword somehow if it's silver or whatever the fuck and you know you never really stop to think like how that would feel like is it yeah. cutting through air and here it's like no it's like through water i i just like that touch like there's a little bit of resistance but you could still kind of do it yeah whatever yeah as opposed to cutting like i guess through a branch or trees like to indicate bone or something like i could definitely see just a weird difference <laughs> in how yeah. that works <laughs> And yeah, he kind of says the whole thing about uh, a torch tar toss in the darkness. You shine brilliantly to them or whatever. Um, and we get like, I think this happened in the Black Swordsman. We get a moment where they like try to take him over as well in the fight here. Yeah. Yeah. They're just like. They try just to like all haunt him. him or whatever. Yeah. They're just like all around him trying to kind of like. I mean, ever like eat him, devour him, enter him, like whatever. Just yeah. like because we, your every, your body and every last drop of blood in it has been given as an offering to those in the darkness. And then he's like, "Fucking, what did you just say? You say eh, this is my destiny? Fuck yeah. you!" Yeah, I love it because it's he like this is pissed. not the guy to care about. Deep, he's just like swinging wildly, and even says like. I'm going to kill all of you. This is my war declaration. <laughs> Dude, the panel of him standing with his back to the reader and him holding the sword, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's some good shit. Guts is shredded. Yeah. I also love that his simple way of looking at stuff is like, quit spouting a bunch of cryptic explanations. The point is, this is war. It ain't different from any other war. <laughs> yeah, man. It's just like, well, in that case... They're fucked. <laughs> yeah. And then he just thinks about, like, he's going after Femto slash Griffith. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great... We get that callback of, uh, should anyone travel that dream, he would oppose him body and soul, even if that threat were. And then he's like, hmm, indeed, struggler. <laughs> <laughs> the struggler, indeed. It's so good. Yeah. Uh... And then another torch has been thrown into the metaphorical 
or metaphorical torch has been thrown into the darkness. Yeah, it's Casca. And spoiler then, alert. It's Casca. Because <laughs> she was also branded. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, a thing, right? Like, we, we see Guts with his brand and he's like doing his shit but she also is in this darkness with him except uh she's not ripped and ready to fight right so okay uh we're almost done actually we're almost caught up so but we get a little bit more about skull knight uh basically he says who the fuck are you or whatever uh and he just says i'm a foe of inhumans that's all i'll say for now so we get no information about him (laughs) at all really uh, we kind of did in the big Griffith save thing. He's obviously that, like, king or whatever. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, we don't know that yet. What we do know is that this area where Godo has his mine and lives or whatever, where Guts has been training up in the mountains here, used to be the home of elves. So the uh, Earth's energy street. Earth's energy is super strong here, which is why it's a good place. It's far away from where the eclipse happened and all that sort of stuff. And also it uh, is good to hide from the monsters just in general or whatever. So that's why it was just by chance that he knows this area. But like this (laughs) is why he brought him. That's great (laughs) because that's just another nod to fate, right? Yeah. 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 This is great. It's a dumb luck. Is it causality? Yeah, um, but <laughs> dumb luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we see Casca standing on, on the like hill. a hill. Yep, with like the little spirit ghosts. Except this time they're not horrifying, like swirling around her, and uh, they're like fireflies Gar- or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like innocent looking, and even Skull Knight is like something's wrong. The evil yeah. spirits aren't inflicting harm on her, but they're all around her. Why? Yeah. Guts doesn't give a shit. He runs up and uh Casca just like births a demon fetus. Yeah. Like a tiny demon fetus. I'm gonna be real, I did not see this part coming. <laughs> well, that okay. When he says, Are you hurt? and then she looks at him and then grabs her stomach, I th- from there I knew what was about to happen. But up until that panel, I had no yeah. clue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the um, image of her like looking with tears in her eyes, just like a wild, scared animal while like gripping into his arm is super just gross. That's a terrifying image. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's still like it's just fucking hard. This whole part's fucking terrible. It's all. <laughs> yeah, it's also like so this little demon fetus comes out and opens its disgusting little eye and Cuts is like a demon. He's going to fucking squish it. Like he's literally just going to step on it. And Casca moves to protect it. And that's when we learn like Skull Knight comes in to inform us like that girl was with child. So that shapeless fetus, which was only just conceived, was possessed by evil. Um, So we learn that basically from her encounter with Guts, she was pregnant and what femto did corrupted that pregnancy right so we also get a bit of a prophecy it'd be best to kill it that's no human child someday it will bring woe upon you both and as yeah right after this like the the fetus has been like quickly growing so now it's like the size of like just slightly smaller than the average newborn i guess sure and it's suckling but it's suckling at the brand on Casca. I didn't even like notice that. Holy breast. shit. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even dude. put that together. That's fucking disgusting. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. God damn um, it. Guts grabs it from her and he's like getting ready to fucking eat it. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Casca is like very adamant that like she needs to get rid of it before anything can happen though. The sun comes up and it just like fades out of existence, much to uh, Casca's chagrin. Yeah. And the Skull Knight's like, oh, so it's your child. And he explains that like the light comes out, it slips into a place that's closer to the world of the dead. 
but all children yearn for their parents, as do demons in some way. Yeah. So. so yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I knew that it would come up again, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to ask um, you, is it soon? You don't have to say when, obviously. In fact, I would rather you don't say, like, soon. But, like, will uh, I remember? <laughs> we... I believe we already saw it, actually. But it's gotcha. kind of a throwaway yeah. thing. Uh, in the in the Black Swordsman arc, they it comes up. Gotcha. Okay. If don't say remember, anymore. I don't remember, so it'll be interesting to revisit. Interesting. Wow, I almost yeah, want to reread it. Fuck. Um, I mean, oh. it's not like a huge thing. It's just like a reference to like that thing again. Oh, wow. You yeah, would, I probably I wouldn't actually, have caught it then. I actually found it. Uh, let me check the file name because I got to dig through shit. Um, volume 1, page 41, it looks like. Volume 1, page 41. All right. Oh, crap. I don't know if I have volume 1 on my... <laughs> On my no, there it is. Volume one, page forty-one. There's like no good way to go when you're <laughs> using a tablet to go fast. Yeah, which is yeah. not usually a problem when you're actually reading because you don't want to go super fast. But Black Swordsman. Uh, are you sure? Because this is just a. Oh wait. That's the wrong page. Okay. Where am I? Uh, I can't move. Oh. Yeah. I, I didn't at all remember that. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, totally. Yep. And I think it even comes up in another... Oh, volume, yeah. I'm sure like in a hallway. I'm sure it's probably like haunting him. Well, oh, I yeah, remember so that one, actually. The... Where it's he had in the like hall, a weird vision or, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like stuff like that is okay. what will kind of be. I forget when we first see it, like after this point, but it's in that style. Yeah, gotcha. I gotcha. Um, yeah, Skull Knight says like we'll likely meet again. Uh, just talking about like yeah, this is a black path, dude. <laughs> this is fucking yeah. have fun. Uh. Peace, struggler. Yeah, I love the term struggler. That's definitely what I'm going to it's, refer to like Twitch viewers as. Yeah, what's up, strugglers? Dude, yeah. it's, it's real good. It's um, too good. It's too real. <laughs> yeah. And then we move to our catharsis chapter. <laughs> yeah, so first we start off with um, Danny DeVito in the mud just kind of crawling around. <laughs> People just in being the like, filth. what the fuck is this? And He's thinking sacrifice and sniffing the air. Uh, and we kind of leave that for a moment. The The important part here is we get into the armory and yeah. there's a giant slab of metal in a shape of a sword on the wall. Yeah, um, yeah a dragon slayer. Yeah. What's this? Oh, that the dragon slayer. And then yeah, Goda just comes out of nowhere saying, like, what happened. And basically a king put out a thing long ago that he wanted a sword that could kill a dragon. And uh, he was getting sick of making swords for uh, <laughs> lords and nobles that are, like, nice and well-balanced and stuff. So he thought, well, swords are just a giant butcher's cleavers. So I'm going to make it. one that could cleave a dragon. Dude, it's so <laughs> fucking cool. Yeah. A sword if anyone that could, could butcher a dragon. And that's like what got him ran out of town because he was a fucking smart ass. <laughs> yeah. But if anyone could handle this, it'd still just be a hindrance. Yeah. So he leaves it around as a reminder to like not doing that shit. Um, Riker's like, could this really kill a dragon? If there were any dragons. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> they don't exist, idiot. <laughs> But I love, but you know, this ain't even what you'd call a sword. It's a meaningless slab of iron you can't even lift for killing dragons and monsters that ain't even real. 
<laughs> yeah. Your friend looks um, like he's about to fight a dragon, though. <laughs> dragons are dragons because humans can't beat them. We get guts yeah. under the waterfall. Uh, just kind of train, just doing like training with a sword, one arm. With stuff. one eye, specifically. With he one eye and depth one arm. perception. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like slicing a fish that is on his bad side, even. Um, yeah. God, that would be fucking, as a swordsman, that'd be like rough. The one eye thing more so than the arm, honestly. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, unless you have a sword that is a giant slab of iron that you want both don't hands, probably. Fucking... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we get a really fucking rough scene of Guts coming back and, like, they, they the Riker, like, has them locked in this little cave so Casca doesn't wander out. Yeah. And Guts is, like... I'll bet you're hungry. Like Erica really outdid herself. They have some tasty looking like bread and tomatoes and stuff. And uh, Casca is like eating like an animal. I know. I mean, yep. Yeah. Yeah. But we, we do learn that like it's been a month and at this point she doesn't run from guts, but like she's looking upset at him and yeah. she's like eating, drinking, eating her soup like a dog would. And yeah, it that is to say, her. like, from the bull using her mouth yeah. and tongue, just for people yeah. that might not know what you mean. But yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. Um, She spills the hot soup on herself, and, like, it's hot soup through clothes, so Guts is, like, strip, it's going to scald, like, trying to help her. And obviously that, I mean, it leads her to her clothes getting torn, like, at the top. And, like, she's kind of just, like, blanking out again yeah she's going into a ptsd I'm, state it's really yes, actually terrifying it's very yeah. difficult yeah, um yeah. and like i've here's the thing it's it i think like it does focus more on like guts a little bit it's obviously traumatic for her like as the fucking understatement of all time but yeah. like it's yeah. so fucking difficult so like guts like sees her and he like kind of goes in like he's gonna kiss her and she shoves him away and is running and is now like screaming primal primal primally jesus at the uh at like the gate and guts just like sits and has his hand in his face yeah as she's like screaming to get away and i just like obviously the the, the focus should be on on her as like the person who dealt with this but it's fucking difficult because like the idea of like trying to understand that right because like to him it looks well, like fucking casca i mean even for rape victims like it's not like just because the per other person in the relationship didn't suffer like they yeah this yeah. person like it hurt it hurts just as bad just on physically it was mentally yeah. scarring for them too for sure and just yeah, and no, just watching him, like, time. fucking coming to terms with the fact that, like, the person he loves is, like, just... I mean, nobody's there at this point. Like, it's literally just instinct. Yeah. Is all that's left currently. Yeah, it's um, rough. That scene was hard. It is. Uh, but now we get the Black Swordsman scene where he dons yeah, now the we armor. Get, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's Fucking really all of his black shit. Eric is like, why are your clothes and armor all black? He's like, because I'll be fighting in lots of dark places. They are in the darkness. Yeah. And we get the fucking... The is hand. this a arm, Army of Darkness reference? The groovy? Artificial arm. It's groovy. Yeah, it totally is. Um, yeah, totally. I did read. I did read a little fun fact that is potentially a choice by the translators. Not that groovy oh, is necessarily yeah. a wrong word. Like but it probably doesn't used, exist. But like Japan. you also could have <laughs> Yeah, you also could have done something like wild or funky or whatever the hell, but like the reference is right there and groovy fits. Like what are we doing? Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh okay. yeah, he gets a he gets like a metal arm, like just pretty rudimentary, but like has like little uh 
ball joints for like the fingers and knuckles and that sort of stuff. Also, it's magnetized, um, we find out, so he can use it to hold the sword. Yeah. Yeah. And for those who've read the Black Swordsman arc, like, you know what's coming. Yeah. Uh, Riker is like, there's a little reason why it's groovy. And a little face Erica makes is so cute. Her being like, yup. Her being like, hey, or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. A little. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. You fucking. And he's like, point the point at the uh, point your hand at that rock outside and then pull the metal part on the side. And fucking Goto shows up <laughs> in the doorway and like Riker and Eric are losing their minds because he almost just got his fucking face blown off. Yeah. Uh, Goto uh, gives him a sword that he immediately uses to break another one yeah and that's how he tested it. it yeah he's like it won't it won't notch go is like how about it and <laughs> uh silence speaks volumes like it'll do clearly um yeah. and we see guts uh the brand starts bleeding as the reader sees this uh little danny devito demon shuffling up yep and uh he's in the doorway looking like a fucking creep yeah uh and then Casca's brand is also hurting and then we we cut back and the dude is like transformed he's taken a more tame demon form yeah it's I like kind of like, like zod or whatever pig, a little pig man sort of thing yeah with like the cloven hooves and shit yeah um kind of looks like guts. maybe ganon or something is yeah yeah pig ganon comparison. is actually a, a pretty good yeah. reference point but smaller i would say yeah than that yeah Guts is stoked because he gets to fucking test out the sword, so he goes uh, super berserk saying, "Yeah, get that nice that fucking classic." I've gone berserk thing. at gmail dot com. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> and he he moves, he fucking moves, and like this whole time, also Goto's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, because like he he was not prepared. Like we have to remember, everybody was not privy to the eclipse. <laughs> like totally. It yep. was just an eclipse that happened. It wasn't a fucking trip to the demon realm. Even Riker didn't know what happened in there. Like, he doesn't know. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, Goto is like, man, this isn't good. I made that sword to, like, kill as many people as Guts wanted. I didn't know he was going to fucking use it for this shit. And the sword breaks. Yeah, the demon gets bigger. It seems it does. Yeah, it gets like fatter and it shit. grows. Yeah. Um, and then like it's our closing act, I guess, gets thrown into the shed. And this isn't the closing act or, yet. No, not the closing is- act. Actually, no, I, I saw him getting thrown and I thought we were at the that moment. No, not yet, he gets no. he does get thrown away. He does get thrown away. <laughs> yeah. But that's when he. uh Uh. They they yell. Riker is yelling at him like how to use his arm. So we get the fucking barrel stuff cannon blast into yeah. the thing's face. Oh yeah. my god, that panel is so good. Yeah, pushing him back into the back of the thing where he sees just a giant slab of sword after dislocating his shoulder from the blast. Oh um, god! And the next scene we just see is this thing's head just like getting cleaved what's left of it anyway (laughs) yeah like just cut through it yeah and everybody's like what the fuck and then the the full page spread of guts holding it above him and it's like into it's so long that it's into the room and then he swings it through the rocks over the doorway and then just fully cuts the fucker in half it's so good yeah it is incredible his face um, in the next scene where he's dude, holding the sword just like smiling yeah. you held out on me goto you got something much better suited and goto's like what the fuck you can hold it <laughs> and then erica is like our classic like guts right now he's scary and then humans are or, uh dragons are dragons because humans can't beat him and it just shows like God, Guts standing there with it over his shoulder <laughs> I've looked at the panel of him swinging that sword so much. Yeah, it's I just really staring good. at it. It's fucking great. I love that um, when he's holding the sword, saying like, "You got something much better suited to my fight or whatever." There's just guts and blood hanging off, literally of it. like entrails and shit. Oh, it's <laughs> fucking incredible. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh god, it's so good. Uh, with that, we get just the I, obviously he's gonna leave or whatever. Uh, but yeah, dragons are dragons. Humans can't beat them. So what's a man who beats dragons? And we get kind of the scene of he's saying goodbye to everybody. Record saying, "Aren't you gonna say anything to Casca or whatever?" Um, and just like you should stay here or whatever. We get kind of just like I really like this whole part of guts being like the band of the hawk is in dead she's our leader you need to help her and i'm the yeah. raid captain right so what do i do i'm gonna raid the camp raid the enemy just like yeah. oh that's so fucking good <laughs> dude it's fucking incredible yeah. um so i'm gonna yeah. just read this verbatim because this is really important to me this like yeah, a yeah. lot of these lines have become important to me already but War, revenge, maybe any reason was good enough. But one thing's for sure. Right now, there's some dismal rage inside me. And that's all there is, supporting these two feet. It pushes me to walk onward. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. yeah I, I feel that so hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get the final two-page spread of this chapter. And I think this is also the actual end of the golden arc it on the is. wiki. Yeah. Yeah. Uh him sword dragon slayer on his back, like kind of walking into into the darkness. Of a, a, a move like shifting void with almost like yeah. specks. It looks sandy, but it's just like black specks like at his feet and into yeah. the unknown, essentially. Yes, exactly. Yep. Entering the world of darkness. Yep. And that yeah, is man. that's it. Uh fuck man the golden age i can see why it's the golden age because that's when things were okay (laughs) that's when light existed (laughs) um so what was uh what was about like how you read this yeah so i read this at work as i was having a panic attack um oh (laughs) i needed something uh... to calm down and i went away from everything and reading it it was just one of those moments of like this will pass everything does or whatever and it was just really that moment of like they can get through this shit like i can get through this like i can get through this day it'll be okay eventually or whatever we'll fight through it we'll struggle on essentially and like it really set like a decent mood it actually got my mind off of things like really good or whatever it i will say as i was starting it it was making the panic worse like the stress that fucking makes sense yeah yeah but then like as i kept going and going it was it's so the violence and stuff happening in it is super cartoony and it's really just the rape right Uh, for me anyways that was like oh this is absolutely terrible the other stuff is just like i don't want to see these characters i like getting murdered or whatever but i kind of knew it was going to happen and i like weird gory like anime shit so that's all fine and like none of that really bothered me too much i liked the monster designs and all that sort of thing it was really just it wasn't even necessarily the rape part that i was just like this is absolutely horrible the worst thing i've ever seen it was the fact that like again i'm not gonna harp on it because we did that a lot already they it just lasted too long that's really all it was yep and yeah totally at some point i was just like yeah i got it like it was it wasn't even like a shock value thing anymore it was like i'm kind of bored of like seeing this scene like i kind of want to move on from it it's kind of it's like the guy who doesn't get the hint and just keeps going it's like (laughs) yeah no i got it like this is cringy now (laughs) yep for me yeah it's too it's too much i have to ask you something a long time ago I wasn't going to let you off, but I wasn't going to bring it up until right now. I was kind of hoping you were going to forget. There was something about a tasteful depiction of... Is it not tasteful? Okay, I wanted to know which one you were talking about and how... It was this one. It was this one, but okay. I said that after watching the anime. So it was... I mean, it's still fucking terrible. And I absolutely abhorrent choice of words. But it was the anime version, okay. at yeah. least. You knew um, this conversation was coming, right? I mean, like, I figured I didn't want it, but, like, I figured. No, I just uh, wanted to know kind of, like, what that meant, because I think I the way trying. it's described was 
bad and i wanted I to get, used yeah i just used a fucking like the wrong choice of words okay to uh convey what i was feeling okay because like keep in mind berserk was like the second anime that i watched and actually gave a fuck about and yeah, the no, other one was fine. like i just want to know a, if there was like an actual coherent so, thing going on there or if it was like some weird edgy joke you were making or if you used the wrong word no, i just wanted to know I what was, the context was i i was i was just trying to convey that like this was a rape that was horrifying and not at least in the anime like not it's it maybe still lingers in how it's drawn but they're just staying a little bit true to the manga but it's not like it's not a sexy thing it's not a fan service thing as oh. opposed to like i think the thing i had watched or tried watching recently was like food wars and then like the fucking first episode yeah, some chick yeah, takes yeah. a bite of bad peanut butter and gets tentacle assaulted and i'm like this isn't that it's not yeah, like that that yeah, was yeah. drawn to be like oh it's tentacles uh, this isn't fucking that it's tasteful and then like tasteful uh, just not the right fucking word at all <laughs> okay i kind of see the like thought process now no, okay that makes more sense i get it now yes also yeah. i haven't seen this in the anime yet because there's no way i would call what happened in the manga tasteful just because of the lingering on it way too long yeah yeah it's i'm sure it's different yeah I get it. I think like if I were to see something like that now, like I wouldn't like tasteful, like even thinking like that, that would work as a phrase. Like it just wouldn't enter my brain. It was like 20 sure. man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. I just wanted um, to know. Yeah. No, it was just a very, uh, I think a decent thought, but just a terrible execution. Sure. Fair. Okay. Yeah. That was really the only thing I had for that. Um, I have started watching the anime. I watched the first episode. Yeah. It, dude, I love seeing that shit in like mo motion. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> it's, yeah. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. I, so the first episode kind of doesn't show anything <laughs> that like yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the end screen has like a bunch of the images of the band of the hawk. And just seeing their faces in that, I was just like, oh, I can't wait to see Judo in this. Oh, there's Casca. Oh, my God. And, like, I don't yeah, know. Man. It's a weird, like, fanboy moment or something for something I just read. It's like, I'm going to get to see them live and moving and stuff. I hate Guts's English voice actor. I really don't like his voice. Um, maybe, maybe it'll grow on me, but I don't. Yeah, I've I've only watched it in the dubbed or the, the sub version. And... Going back, like, in the subs, I mean, there's just no way that they were ever going to do Griffith's voice in a way that enamors me. Uh -huh. It's not ethereal enough for me, you know? Like, he's, he's like, so fucking hot and angelic, but, like, he's also just a dude, so he has a voice. I would <laughs> assume like, he sounds like uh, Michael Jackson, right? Yeah. I yeah, Griffith... That. Griffith uh, spins around onto his screen does a little crotch grab and he's all like oh <laughs> casca are you okay are you okay <laughs> are you okay casca oh no <clears throat> <laughs> anyway um yeah no I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that i'm i'm also doing dubs this time just because i haven't watched them i'm curious sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh this was beefy it but was. I'm glad, like we we did it, we got to the thing, we did the thing, yep. And next time we talk, we'll be talking about kind of just overall how the anime depicts things, differences, things that we like, don't like, all that sort of happy horse shit that you would expect. But I think we made the decision that it's going to be one episode on the whole anime, right? As like a whole, yes. Because yeah, one like, for the anime and one for the movie trilogy. Because like, why would we retread? You it's know? too much yeah it'd be too much yeah it's the same story but like <laughs> so like why would we retread the same story beats over and over again the same yeah way? like four times or whatever yeah yeah so that'll be exciting uh that one arguably might be the easiest one if people were wanting to follow along to just do along with us because you just yeah, have to watch I think, and i think hours. the anime is a the anime is like a great thing to take in to see if you want like more 
to follow up on. It's very sure. good. The 97 one, at least, is very good. Yeah, you're right, because we have another anime that we can't read until we're, like, almost done, right? Because it adapts, uh, like, not, more stuff. Not almost done. It's just, I, f- I forget what it goes through. I'll have to look it up. I'm going to assume the conviction yeah, it's after. Arc, which is next Yeah, for it's us. like it's like the, yeah, the conviction arc and stuff. Sure. I'm excited. We're in a new arc, new age, a new yeah. dawn. Yeah. The Age of Darkness. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> you fools. You merely adopted the Age of Darkness. I've been living in it for 36 years. <laughs> <laughs> Born into it. Conceived. Anyways, yes, this has been fun. I can't believe we actually got through the Golden Age. That seemed like a pipe dream a few months ago. So I wasn't sure, man. You yeah. never know. Yeah. It's been fun, though. It has. I had a good time. Yeah, it's been good. Um... I think we should take a little break after the movies, maybe a couple weeks or something, but we'll consider yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Cause it's been a lot, but yeah, it's been super fun. <laughs> and, uh, hopefully anyone listening, you've been enjoying it too, but, uh, yeah, we'll be back next time and we'll be talking some anime. So thanks for listening and we'll see you then. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs>